It was you know, a very physical game. Um, I thought defensively, again, we were we were outstanding. Uh, we had some nice individual performances. I think you just saw our kids settle into the tournament a little better tonight. Um, and you know, we have a ton of respect for New Mexico. Uh, we, we had a really hard fought battle the first time we played them. And I, I think our kids knew that you know, we were in for a really tough contest tonight. And I, I really liked how we came focused. I thought really well prepared. Um, execution was, was much better tonight. Really good team win against a, a, a New Mexico team that we respect the heck out of. Thank you, Coach. We'll now take questions for the student athletes only. Ladies, uh, Coach talked about the first meeting. Since then, you've beat five straight opponents by an average of 18.8 .8 points per game. Two-part two question. Was that one-point win over New Mexico sort of a wake-up call, kind of a good reminder of what you're capable of? And two, have you been taking a leave-no-doubt mentality with you on the court against any opponent, with whoever it may be? Well, the first game when we played against them and one by one, I don't feel like we went in and thought that, like, underestimated them. Like, they're a really good team. Um, so even though we just won by one, we still, like, we were awake. But, uh, but it was just more like this time we wanted to beat them by more. But we know that they're a really good team. And, it, um, like, we need to play really good defense to make it a win. Um, we definitely didn't doubt them. Uh, we don't doubt any of our opponents. We know at any given moment, anyone can come in and play as well as us, make any shot, and we can be on our toes. So we definitely don't doubt any of our opponents. Let's go here first, and then we'll come back. Ellie, obviously it's been a, a goal of this team to get to the NCAA tournament, <clears throat> to get the only way you can do it for sure is to win this conference tournament. How determined are you guys to go out and do that and accomplish that goal? We're super, like, we're super excited. And I feel like it has been our mentality since um, the season started. Um, even though, as for example, when we won re uh, regular season, like, we were super happy, but we were not done yet. Like, this is, this is what we've been waiting on the whole season. So we're, we're prepared and we're super excited. Yeah, go ahead. Just sort of along those lines, how critical, how much does last year's loss in this tournament kind of sting and play into your the way you're taking these games now this year? Um, it's hard to say. Well, you can say you, we can look back at last year, or we can just reflect on this, the success we're having this year. Mm -hmm. And if you think about last year, different team, different girls. So we're just looking at what we're capable of and what we're going to do. So we're not really focusing on the past. No, we're focusing on what we can do from now on. Okay, back to your left, ladies. Last night in the quarterfinal round, Kadisha Shumpert goes off for 26 points and 11 to 15 shooting. She still ended up with 13 points tonight, but nine of those came at the free throw line mm -hmm. on two of 10 shooting. What were you guys able to do um, against her in particular to make it such a tough shooting night for Khadija? Um, I'd say we guarded her better. Um, we added more focus on her. Um, we knew we could not let her go off or the others would, and it would get the crowd wild up, and we didn't want that. So we calmed that down real quick. And it was not even, it was not just one player that defended, like it was the whole team. Like when, every, when we were playing, everyone was guarding her at the same time. Maybe you didn't notice it, but that was, that was the plan. So guarded together. <laughs> Wake up. Go ahead. Kiora, um, just how much more comfortable did you feel on the court today as compared to yesterday and just the team in general? Um, I was pretty comfortable yesterday. It was just a different ball game. Um, they guarded me different, so I just I just take what, what comes and I go with it. And Ellie, have you ever been in a zone like this offensively? I mean, putting t together back-to-back -back games like this? Yeah, I think I have, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, like, I guess. Maybe not here at CSU, I don't know, but I don't have a good answer, I'm sorry. Go ahead. For you guys, when you guys played New Mexico earlier this season, they had that big, I think it was a 15-point fourth quarter comeback. Was that in your guys' minds at all in the fourth quarter? You guys built a pretty big lead. Was that in your minds thinking about, we can't let this team get back in the game? Oh yeah, um, we we knew we 
didn't want the fourth quarter to be a hassle. We didn't want to keep going back and forth. So we third quarter, we put our foot down and we made our mark. So we just cut that off real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ellie, just how critical was it that you guys really in the second quarter kind of took control, built that cushion? How much did that help having that lead, a double-figure lead going in at halftime and as far as just your mentality for the rest of the game? Well, of course, it feels like it feels better to be up in halftime, but at the same time, like it's, it's kind of when you start the second half, it's like a new game, so it's 0-0 zero, zero again. Uh, and as Key said, like they, they want it as much as we wanted it. And... Um, so I felt like we, we were ready for them to come. Like, we were prepared. We were not just like, oh, we're up. No, it's just bring it. For Key, how much has your confidence grown in that jump shot, obviously? I mean, you've had the moves around the basket the last year and a half, but it seems like really toward the end of the season, your confidence in your jump shot has grown a lot. Um, I've always had, a conf had confidence in my jump shot. I just haven't used it as much as I could. Um, people are starting to cut me off more going to the rim, so I'm just pulling up and jumping over them. Go ahead. Just for either player, how nice is it knowing that no matter how you guys play offensively, your defense is going to be just dominant? I mean, you held them to 24% shooting. How nice does that kind of give you a little bit of a cushion knowing that no matter what court or who you're playing, your defense is, is always going to be pretty good? Well, I think that goes back to, I feel like I always talk about our chemistry, but I feel like that is really in our defense. Um, um, we don't, it's not only one player that plays on the ball. It's like it's the whole team. Everyone is playing on the post players. So I've, I feel like the chemistry in defense is helping us offensively mm -hmm. and everything. Anything else for our student athletes? OK, I'm going to dismiss them at this time. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, guys. Question for the coach. Ryan, just what can you say about it? It seems like your team is really kind of playing at a much higher level this last month, really since that loss at New Mexico. What have you seen change or that win? The yeah, we didn't lose but there, babe. You, the one point win <laughs> yeah, at New Mexico. I get what it. have you seen change during that stretch, and what do you think the big difference is? I don't know if there's been a change. I just think um, our kids know that you know the, the closer you get to your end goal, the tougher things are going to get. Um, and I think they've, they've done a great job of, of, you know, everybody's ready for our team. And I think they've, they've learned through this last three weeks um, that we have to be tougher, um, yeah, that, that we have to execute better uh, because we're, we're getting everybody's best shot. And I don't know if it was a wake-up call at New Mexico. I, like like Key said, we do respect the heck out of every one of our opponents. Um, you just see a very determined basketball team. And, you know, it, it, defensively, that's, that's where we hang our hat. And defensively, the last two nights, we've, the kids have been exceptional. Um, so just very, very determined. Um, this is the time of year, Kelly, you want to be playing really good basketball. And although it's not always going to be the prettiest of basketball, it's March. It's going to be, it's, it's a battle out there. Um, this is the, you know, the third time we played some teams. You know, it's the second time you've played New Mexico. You know them like your own family members. They know tendencies, so it's going to be ugly. It's not going to be easy to score. And uh, I, I think our kids understand that. Um, and they're, they're making enough winning plays. I, I think our senior leadership has, has been outstanding. Is that the longest answer you've ever had? Can you write that <laughs> in the front page? <laughs> You have a question? Uh, I know it wasn't the pit, but did this almost kind of feel like a road game a little bit? They call it the pit west, I think, don't they? The Lobo Nation. Um, yeah, it really did. It's similar arena. I mean, very, very good fans. New Mexico has great fans, and they, they cheer at the right time. And, you know, we talk to our team about that. We don't want them to get any any momentum. You know, we want to try to keep that crowd out of it as as best we can and uh, I think our kids really they played this game with great poise I, I thought um, very physical game but uh, we just kept them at bay and, and kept the the Lobo Nation somewhat quiet but they're great fans and then how do you just kind of handle tomorrow having a day off and, and looking towards Friday I'm gonna hit the pool all day um, no I'm kidding uh, <laughs> 
we'll treat it like just normal. You know, we'll we'll get up and we'll we we do some yoga stuff to to get our bodies feeling good, and uh, you know we'll we'll have a nice light little practice to prepare for whoever we play. Um, we'll have nice a, a film session. We'll we'll keep them locked in, but at the same time get them rest and uh, keep them somewhat relaxed. From your standpoint, how much has Kiora's offensive game changed? I mean, there was a time there where I think she scored six or eight points in a row and kind of really jump-started that big run. How much has her offensive game changed, not just from when she came in two years ago, but really this season? Yeah, you know, Key's always been a really good offensive player. I think sometimes, you know, when you come in as a junior college player, that first year is always just, it's somewhat difficult. It, it just takes a year, I think, to, to get comfortable. Um, so Key's always kind of had this. She's worked on a few things. I think her footwork around the rim is a, a lot better. Um, she's shooting that jump shot with some touch. Um, and she's worked a lot of hours on her game. And you see a very determined young lady. And Key, she just brings, we don't have anybody on our team like Kiora. You know, it's, she can go get her own shot. And she's, she's really saved our, she saved us a, a lot of late shot clock um, situations. And tonight you saw that. I, I thought the poise that she played at the end of the shot clock was one, yeah, it was, that was senior leadership right there. Then defensively, did you guys put an emphasis on doubling down on the post? There were times where it was two or even three defenders. You guys were able to get some steals and some transition baskets. Was that kind of something that you saw on film that you thought maybe you could get some plays out of that? Yeah, it, well, if there were three down there, somebody was making a mistake because there were only supposed to be two. Um, no, but it, Shumpert was a big part of our plan. Uh, I mean, just... You, you saw her last night. You know, she's an exceptional athlete. She's really gifted around the rim. And you, you can't play her one-on-one. -on -one. We don't have that, um, that matchup. So, you know, I think our kids were really locked into to making it tough to catch first. And when she did, we, we brought a quick double uh, and made her pass out. Uh, and, you know, still she got, she got to the foul line, and that's what good players do. But, yeah, that was a huge emphasis. Shumpert just winning the paint. Just win the paint. Uh, it was a big part of our victory today. Have you told Ellie to be more aggressive offensively, I mean, in this tournament, or is that just kind of the way these two games have kind of unfolded? Well, I think it's kind of the way they have unfolded, Sean. I think um, both teams really, you know, San Diego State and, and New Mexico, they, they pressured out with their bigs and, and – Ellie's really good at attacking closeouts. Uh, so when we get when we get the ball moving side to side in our motion, and and she reads a closeout, that's where she's really good. And um, that's just been the situation the last two games. But yeah, she's she's really locked in, and you know she's she too is very determined, and she's had some really big big games in big games, um, you know, the Colorado game and, and that sort of thing. And so, Ellie, we, we trust her just like we trust everybody else. It's nice to see her have a, a good tournament. Um, we could use one more from her.